learned welcome to French Black Metal Review Time. Today we have a uh, debut album from French band called Necropoly, uh, released by Finnish label Modern Heritage Records, which is uh, more famous releasing uh, Finnish black metal in a raw style. But this time it is not very raw, it is uh, not Finnish, but uh, French. So let's take a look of an uh, album called Solarit. And let's go. So uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Necropoly uh, released their first kind of a full length release, but it was more of a compilation of uh, demo recordings. A nice one, actually, great one, uh, showing the skills of this one man band who is also known uh, for a band called Cavern. I don't know why there is need to have two solo projects of such but hey who i am to judge uh, artists artistic visions and whatnot so let's take a look on this um cd version uh, here you can see the um booklet it's very simple in design just seven songs uh, band uh, symbol here label logo there inside we have uh, english uh, lyrics seat because uh, all the lyrics are on the booklet they are French, as I'm gonna show you in a bit. Um, here is the CD, very simple design as well. And then the actual booklet, which has very little imagery, just, you know, basically zero type of uh, lyrical content, um, very little basic information, all in uh, French, which is totally fitting for a French band, they are very known to be very uh, kind of a uh, nationalist in a way, not necessarily political more than that, but you know, to keep their language and all that stuff going. As you can see, very much the basic uh, thank you list and a small picture of the band or the band's own one and only member. Now, Necropol means, or Necropoli, it's probably pronounced some, somewhere along those lines, means burial grounds or cemetery. That much I could educate myself about the band name and all that stuff. Um, so, what's the music like? That's the basic question when we're talking about a, uh, a release, an album, a full length album, which is a, once again, a debut album of this band. Now, most of you who might know Northern Heritage way of, you know, releasing music is that Northern Heritage is usually focused on uh, releasing Finnish black metal and more on the harsh slash raw end of the genre. Necropoli, then again, is uh, very different. It's more melodic, kind of a lightweight, more atmospheric side, and even somewhat trashy when it comes to the actual album we have here. Now, when I say trashy, I mean it as only as a you know side remark. It's not so much about that the whole album is you know filled with trash riffs or anything like that. It's more like a spicing, you know, seasoning, if you will. Um, but those trashy parts, along with the melodic parts, which are then again dominating the whole album. Uh, create this funny vibe that it, this actually uh, reminds me of a uh, little bit of R Destroyer 666 style of music. Not as groovy and flowy, maybe, not as trashy either, but still there are some uh, parts that actually make these two bands remind of each other. Now, in general, you know, uh, Zolarit is more about this kind of a melodic atmospheric black metal. While the melodic style is not totally typical uh, French style, you can pretty much figure out that this is a kind of a typical French black metal release. You know, in my opinion, um, so many bands, even from the French side of Canada, have this kind of a weird melodic language that kind of a band, uh, bonds these bands together. It's kind of a similar version of French kind of a national melodic style that so many Swedish bands have in, in common. Uh, so in that sense, uh, Necropoli is a very safe bet for those who are into this kind of a uh, French melodic style, if you will. But it's more on the atmospheric side, 
without going uber melodic and even the last song is somewhat more kind of a melancholic uh, version of this kind of a melodic atmospheric black metal now the overall feeling of this album is it's quite good it's not maybe great but considering how many people uh, seem to have misunderstood with me uh, with the Sargeist Unbound review, I want to underline the fact that this is a good album in my opinion. It might not be great, you know, the five star album, but that doesn't mean that I think this is a huge disappointment or anything like that. So when I say it's good, it's meant to be that I think it's good. It, it's slight disappointment uh, versus the, the compilation, the Necropoli uh, compilation from two years ago, prior to this one. But that doesn't mean that this is like mediocre or anything like that. Like I said, it's a good album and definitely on the good side of, you know, more melodic stuff. Uh, but on the terms of, you know, Northern Heritage style, this is not one of the best albums by the label. But that is only because the Northern Heritage style is very, very uh, high quality, even when, when it goes to totally harsh necro sound with its black metal releases. So Necropoly is kind of a weird exception to the rule of basic Northern Heritage style. It's an interesting release, uh, it's enjoyable, but maybe my expectations were a little bit too high for this release because of the previous one. But nevertheless, uh, I totally urge people to give this one a chance when it's out. Well, it's technically speaking, it's out already uh, released on 6th of November 2018. But there are no uh, download links, you know, uh, or streaming links for this album as it is at the moment. Uh, there are no Bandcamp or Facebook page for the for this band. So you might have to look elsewhere. Uh, what I understood is that it will be available on some streaming services later on. So if you are a doubtful person when it comes to buying uh, new black metal releases for your collection, uh, maybe give it a little bit of time and see if the streaming services will be uh, of your help later on. But then again, this is also a very safe bet for anybody who has ever been into underground black metal. It's maybe not the most harsh or raw black metal release. It's more of mainstreamish in that sense. But then again, it's nothing like you know the big names of black metal. You know, like Dimmu Borger, Cedricon, and whatever. So it's a kind of a well good investment in the terms of you know getting yourself a quality black metal release. I don't know if there's anything for me to add there. Go check it out once it's out, uh, and uh, hope you enjoy it. That's all from Rauta. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.